Okay, good morning everybody. Really late start today. I've waited for the group. It seems as if the group is kind of falling apart due to injuries and just stuff like that. I can explain in more detail later. But yeah, I just left camp. It's like 10 o'clock. Got here to Whitewater River and it's raging this year. It's never been this big. It's probably gonna actually be a Ford. Yeah, this is where they're this guy's telling us to cross. It's miles of nowhere up here and Yeah. So I guess our feet are getting wet. <laughs> I've always been able to cross this in uh with dry feet, so I'm videoing. <laughs> All right, I'll show you while we're crossing. This is another crossing. Smile's already made it across. Gets a little deeper on that second part there. My turn. more like a river uh, this year I've never been usually it's just a creek but you can tell in the in the recent flooding that they've had like this was a big river but because of all the water the flowers are incredible apparently I hiked when I'm on my night hike last night, I hiked through like a huge field of orange uh, California poppies, which is kind of disappointing. I hope we get to see more. But even without those, I mean, there's just purple and yellow flowers everywhere. <laughs> this is what the trail's been like for the past four or five miles. Usually there's not even a trail. It's been washed out basically everywhere. And we've been just kind of making our own path. Whew. It's pretty awesome in this canyon though. I really like it. I like this section. It's just been way more difficult than previous years. I want to 
talk to you guys a little bit about just how the group's doing and kind of an update. Uh, it's kind of a depressing day. Everybody's feeling down. I feel good uh, physically. A couple blisters, but nothing major. But the group is is falling apart. Um, we all were together this morning and kind of talked about it, but lullaby her foot's in pretty bad shape and she's we might not even see her again I don't we don't know because uh, some of us are pushing on to Big Bear and she is too but she's gonna take her time and Noah's knee is hurt and pretty bad and he's getting off trail in Big Bear to go to a wedding smiles has some pretty bad blisters and then Dorian who is now I believe taking the trail named Granola he's I think he's doing pretty good physically but he hasn't really been enjoying the miles we've been doing as a group so yeah everybody's just everybody's down because you know, you, you get to know people so well out here. And you become good friends. And, like, it's, you know, that's why gr groups can be good and bad. They're good while everybody's doing well. But then things happen and, you know, you have to split up. So we're kind of all hoping we can reunite in Big Bear in a couple days and just hang out one last time. But I feel like after Big Bear, it's probably going to be over, so. Alright. That's just an update on the group. Okay, everybody, I'm rolling into camp here in about five minutes. Pushing it right into dark. Uh, haven't seen Smiles or Noah for, I think I saw him four miles back. And they said they were gonna try to get here, but I don't know, they're both dragging today because of the, the injuries and it was just a tough day overall. So we'll see, I might be camping alone tonight, which is okay. <sighs> Tomorrow we'll head up to above 8,000 feet and into more snow. And then tomorrow I'm thinking I'll catch up to Second Chance, which is really exciting. I've been looking forward to meeting him. So tomorrow should be a fun day and I'll show you guys the trail when I'm, when I'm up, up in the morning. All right, good night everybody.